No tip for that waitress. She messed up my order. And then I had to stop at the gas station to air up my flat tire. That early morning, now stressed and late for work, I passed a man walking along the side of the country road. I drove for a few more yards until a nagging feeling convinced me to back up. I met him face to dirty, tired face, his hair disheveled, and his shirt torn. I said, where did you sleep last night? He said, under the bridge. I said, have you had anything to eat? His smile awakened, revealing his breakfast between his teeth. Wild green onions, he said. My heart burned with shame. I said, let's go get something to eat, and then I'll take you home. He looked at me and said, okay. This wasn't the first time it had happened. As he had often done before, my brother had walked away from the home, finding himself too far away to make it back before lights out. I wondered, how many times had I worried about my breakfast instead of his sustenance? I wondered, how many times had I worried about my truck tires instead of his tired feet? I wondered how many times had I worried about my time sheets instead of his bed sheets. I wondered who is my brother? Who is your brother?